Hello and welcome to UK House in Bangladesh. Uh, this event is where the UK and the Bangladesh advertising industry comes together to meet and share ideas. My name is Ashin Conlon. I'm the International Trade Director for UK Advertising at the Advertising Association, and I'm going to be your host for today. Uh, UK House in Bangladesh is brought to you by the UK Lions Rep, the Advertising Association, in partnership with the Cannes Lions Festival of Creativity and UK government's Great Campaign. With a population of 170 million, Bangladesh is the eighth largest country in the world by population. The GDP growth in 2019, which is of course pre-COVID, was plus 8%, making it the biggest in the Asian Pacific region, region. That's more than India and more than China. Despite COVID, the IMF and the World Bank predict growth of between 5 and 6% uh, over the next 12 months for this market. from Bangladesh advertising industry, showcasing the opportunities for UK advertising to collaborate with this growing market. We're going to head into our first session now, which looks at doing business in Bangladesh, and I would like to welcome in Khalid to UK House, who's going to be uh, our speaker for this session. Hi Khalid, I can see, oh that's brilliant, you're going to just say we were on mute. Um, I'm going to hand over to you now to go straight into your first session, if that's okay. Sure. Uh... Thank you, Aisling, for the introduction. Uh, great to be here today, uh, joining the panel of industry leaders and uh, looking forward to hearing them speak about the sector. So uh, as you have said, I'll be talking about the business environment of Bangladesh, uh, opportunities for UK creative sector businesses in Bangladesh, and of course, uh, the challenges that you might expect. So uh, I'll start with, uh, uh, a trade and investment conference that I uh, attended earlier uh, this month in London, uh, which was organized by the government of Bangladesh. The main message was, uh, now is the time for Bangladesh, and uh, which we, the British High Commission, agree with. Actually, uh, to start with, I would say the age-old perception that Bangladesh has regarding being poverty-riddled, poor technology ad adoption in the in the country, uh, power crisis that are long existence, but they are long gone. It's now all about fast economic growth and affluent consumers. And uh, when I say this, I am saying because uh, with a GDP of uh, over uh, 30, uh, 350 billion and a GNI per capita of around 2100, Bangladesh is basically set to become world's 26th largest economy as projected uh, by HSBC. The, the country is actually taking over many of its larger neighbors, including India, in terms of uh, the vital economic matrices. Uh, we now have uh, companies like Samsung manufacturing phones and electronic appliances in the country. And we have the interest and uh, companies like Ant Financial joining with local fintech companies like Bcash uh, in the market, serving the population. And uh, there is something important and interesting to look at is the demographic that we have here. Uh, so nearly 40% of the 170 million population here is uh, aged below 30. So uh, the consumption of news and entertainment among the consumers is fast shifting to digital platform. And the smartphone penetration, which is already high, but is expected to be 69% by 2025. I'm sure my panelists uh, here today will be uh, expanding further on the digital marketing side of it, but um, the figures itself um, talks about how, how uh, rapidly uh, the cell phone penetration, smartphone penetration is happening here. I, I initially talked about the affluent consumer base alongside uh, the, the fast economic growth. Well, the, the thriving uh, local consumer base comes from the increased middle class and affluent class, or MSC as we say it now, who are, who are set to account for uh, almost 17% of the population by 2025. And the popularity of the local brands are sharply realizing, thanks to Mac, who are increasingly becoming brand conscious. The local companies uh, catering to domestic and foreign demands uh, would need sophisticated marketing and sales support, uh, not only on the local side where the demand is rising, but they're looking overseas as well. 
And uh, we believe that uh, compared with, with the little foreign competition that's in the market, uh, finding the right partner for the UK companies to get into the market with uh, will yield good outcome. And uh, just to add to that, the High Commissioner here has identified creative as one of the priority sectors, uh, alongside sectors like fintech, edutech, and others. So uh, the support from our end is, well, uh, it says uh, the priority is there. So we are, we are ready here to support companies that would be looking into the market. And we cannot have a discussion without referring to COVID in this world. And uh, Bangladesh has done good on that front as well. The country tops the Nikki COVID re uh, recovery index uh, in South Asia. So uh, on these three brief points, uh, what I would like to leave uh, the, the audience uh, to consider the market are the growing economy and the middle and affluent class, uh, the young population of the country, and of course, increasing appetite of the local brands to create their unique identity uh, for domestic and overseas markets. However, however, uh, there are challenges. There are challenges that re remains despite uh, the remarkable economic progress that Bangladesh has made. Uh, the last published World Bank Doing Business uh, report, which uh, although discontinued now, but the last one that uh, got published uh, indicated where we stand, uh, the Bangladesh market stands, and it ranked Bangladesh 168 out of 190. Uh, which is on the, definitely on the lower side. And corruption is quite rampant, uh, as reflected in the Corruption Index by Transparency International. The country ranks 146 out of 180. Uh, issues like regulatory uncertainty and access to information remains and uh, is likely to be uh, there. But uh, the government is taking effort uh, to bring in reforms, and the UK government has been supporting them uh, with... Uh, the improvement in the business environment and overall investment climate. So uh, that's something that uh, we are also supporting the government with. But uh, when we talk to companies, uh, they happily tell us that uh, once they have powered through the hurdles of entering the market, uh, they are happy with the return that they are getting. And uh, they, when pairing up with the right partners, they uh, find it easier to navigate uh, the uncoordinated uh, uh, approach to starting a business here or the market access barriers that they face. So uh, to, to leave with points, uh, I would say first, uh, it, the country is not, not where it used to be. The perception that the country has about uh, it's, it's changed now. It's full of opportunities and uh, it has been resonated by uh, financial institutions like HSBC and Standard Chartered. The confidence that uh, companies like Ant Financials or Samsung has put in gives an idea of how things are. And uh, the local demand uh, and the uh, demand for local brands basically is increasing and they are trying to uh, create their unique identity for both local market and, uh, uh, and the overseas market. So they are increasingly looking forward to how uh, to brand properly and how to uh, do advertisements and marketing in general. They need the knowledge and the technique. And uh, I think that level of sophistication is something that UK companies can help support with and uh, brand uh, overall uh, the products and the local companies that are going ahead uh, uh, to do better and to be in a position where Bangladesh is heading towards uh, a success story that is an emerging market uh, that would be lucrative uh, to work with and working with the right partner is likely to bring in the, the result that you expect. Uh, Aisling, that would be uh, from my end, uh, try to keep it brief, but I hope I got the messages across. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, and I have maybe one question for you. And um, if, if anyone is listening in today and they are, after this session, they consider Bangladesh as a market that they uh, would like to go to, what would you suggest is the first thing that they do or how can, can they come and contact DIT? Um, you know, what what would be the next steps from a DIT point of view that you would so, recommend for anyone? So Thank you, Isling. Yeah, first, uh, first, I think my contact details are there. You have connected the LinkedIn. I'd be happy to share my email address. Uh, if anyone is interested to know further about the market, have any specific queries, they are welcome to reach out to us. Uh, we would be happy to uh, provide the re relevant information uh, about the market, specific information about the market, and even 
uh, help them look into uh, finding the right partners and see uh, and connect them with relevant uh, stakeholders so that they can uh, get a decision and get an understanding, a better understanding of the market, uh, connecting with the stakeholders that they would be working with in the market. So the first step, reach out to us. We are here, ready to help and support uh, anytime, just an email away. That's brilliant. And I will make sure that we'll share your LinkedIn details in the chat for anybody who is interested. And also when we, uh, after the event, we can make sure we share everything as well so people can get in contact. Thank you very much for coming and giving that presentation. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, 